Now the woman who bravely stood before her church congregation and denounced their pastor, saying he groomed her and stole her virginity when she was only 16 years old. Though she shared her heartache to her church, she has not spoken on national television until now. Amber Cagliano has more. Completely evil, disgusting and heinous. She is the woman who stood before her entire church, accusing the pastor of having sex with her when she was a teenager. I was just 16 when you took my virginity on your office floor. Do you remember that? I know you do. 43-year-old Bobby Gephardt says the secret has haunted her for nearly three decades. I wanted to tell somebody for so long. Hey everybody, Pastor Lowe here. Pastor John Lowe and his wife Debbie are fixtures of their community in Warsaw, Indiana. But Bobby Gephardt says her pastor began grooming her when she was 14, earning her trust and telling her he loved her. What happened when you turned 16? Things just progressed into a full-on sexual, I guess you would call it relationship. This was my high school graduation. Bobby says it lasted nine years. Incredibly, Pastor Lowe even officiated at her 2004 wedding to her husband, Nate. Until last month, she never told Nate about the relationship. How did he keep you quiet? He told me this would ruin everybody. Think of the lives that would be destroyed if you, if you ever said anything. He would go to prison. But all that changed when her brother told her about a disturbing memory he had when Bobby was just a teenager. He saw us in the bed together and I just had a t-shirt and underwear on. It was the floodgates. I opened up to my brother absolutely everything and he wept with me and um, I didn't know that he knew. I didn't know he saw that. After Bobby's brother confronted the pastor over text, Pastor Lowe made this confession of sorts during Sunday services. I committed adultery. It was nearly 20 years ago. I sinned. I need to say that and you deserve to hear it. We got a standing ovation at the New Life Christian Church, but Bobby says she knew he wasn't telling the full story. What was going through your mind in that moment? My husband and I stood in the back of the sanctuary and we were on fire and just shaking our heads like, I just can't believe you're lying to these people. That's when Bobby and Nate stormed the stage and revealed the entire truth. You did things to my teenage body that had never and should have never been done. For 27 years, I lived in a prison of lies and shame. For years, I thought I was a horrible person, not realizing what had been truly done to me. Nate held up a ring. This was Bobby's purity ring, which she wore while this man had sex with her. I don't want it in my home. When you claim and parade yourself around like a pastor and you do that to someone, you are a wicked, evil person. And that's what he is. As Bobby and her husband left the stage, members of the congregation embraced her. They also demanded answers. If you did it, you need to admit it. Yes, we did. I you didn't that. tell them she was 16. I asked you to forgive me. And that's all I can do. Many, many people came to us and there were just sobs and hugs and love. How do you feel now? It's almost like I can't even believe everybody knows my secret now. I, I hated lying. Pastor John Lowe has resigned from the church. He would not comment for our story.